Hello everyone and welcome back to Arctic Retro and another episode in the Commodore Advent Calendar. And today I thought I'll take you through how to install and uh, use the Commodore Vice emulator. So I'm here in uh, Google and uh, by the way this picture came up today. It's uh, from uh, near my home place in Lofoten, uh, Norway. Okay, so uh, let's get right to it. I'm gonna search for a Vice emulator. And the first thing that comes up here is uh, this one, the Versatile Commodore Emulator, and uh, we're just going to click on that. And here you can uh, read uh, up on the project, and uh, here's the user manual, download. So we're going to download, and I'm running on Windows 11 now, so I'm just going to click Download Voice 3.5. So we're just going to wait for that. All right, so now it's finished, and uh, there's actually no installer there. It's... Uh, a 7-zip file. Uh, so to unzip that you actually need a zip uh, program, unzip program. I have this 7-zip uh, program installed and um, then I'm just gonna extract it. And there it is. I actually had a folder from before so I'm gonna remove that. So um, there's no installer, you just unzip the files and you are ready to go. So instead of having this uh, living in my downloads catalog, I'm just going to copy the whole thing over to C colon. And here you have the different uh, catalogs of uh, the device emulator and the actual emulators live inside the bin folder here. And on here you have the different uh, variants. You have uh, um, the X64SC, which is the Commodore 64 emulator, and the X128 is the 128, and you have a PET plus 4 and a WIC. So we're going to start uh, the Commodore 64 emulator by just double clicking on that, and then we are right into a uh, Commodore 64 on our Windows computer. And if you have a Mac or a Linux machine, then the process will be almost the same. All right, so instead of um, having to go and uh, look inside this folder and uh, find the binary catalog, you should instead uh, make yourself a uh, shortcut. So I, on my desktop here, I made a little uh, emulators folder. And uh, here you can see I have a shortcut to uh, the Commodore 64 emulator. So just double click that and now I suddenly have uh, two Commodores running <laughs> on my machine. And that means I uh, can just go right to my desktop here and here's uh, the emulators folder and I can just run uh, the Commodore 64 emulator right away. You can of course uh, run it full screen if you press Alt D it runs into full screen and uh, now you are a little bit more uh, at home in the Commodore. There are of course uh, mappings to the different uh, special keys on uh, the Commodore. For example, uh, escape is uh, the run stop key. And my program didn't work because I had a bug in it. It is supposed to go to 10. <laughs> so like that. Okay, so uh, what's the fun in uh, just writing a little basic? Uh, of course, if you are interested in programming the Commodore 64, you can do that on the emulator, and there's even uh, debugging possibilities and things like that. But we want to run some games or software on uh, this WISE emulator. To run a software or a games, uh, you simply attach uh, either a disk image or a uh, a cartridge or you can even uh, attach uh, tape images but uh, we're gonna start by uh, attaching a, a cartridge image and here you get your uh, disk drives and you can uh, just find whatever CRT file that you have downloaded I went to planetemu.net and I downloaded the Ghostbusters from 1984 let's see if I can find it yeah it's uh, right there and then you just uh, click attach there you go that's the ghostbusters let's uh, see if i can uh, get any sound 
let's run the full screen. I'm not gonna play this game right now uh, because I wanna try out something else first but uh, if you need to reset the computer you can just go to the menu and uh, either do a hard or a soft reset and since the cartridge is in it of course will uh, start uh, loading again there's a lot of uh, advanced things you can do you can activate the monitor uh, if you want to see the machine code, things like that. So now I just want to detach uh, the cartridge and uh, the machine should reset back to basic. Next I want to do is to load uh, from a floppy disk image. And um, let's see if we have some on uh, my computer. I'm going to select drive 8. Let's try this one, uh, Moon Patrol. And uh, when you do that, uh, nothing happens. You actually have to load uh, the directory like uh, you are used to on a Commodore 64. And you see that it loads it right away. So uh, now we can just uh, go up and uh, load 8,1. It loaded a list so that's the moon patrol however we can't play it because uh, we need a joystick and I haven't uh, attached a joystick into this uh, emulator but of course you can do that if you want to you can uh, Go to input devices and uh, you can map uh, your keyboard and you can map your joystick to a keyboard. But I was thinking actually I want to map a uh, USB controller. I have here an Xbox controller connected via USB to my computer. So I'm going to connect that one to control port uh, 1 as a joystick. If you are in Windows, you can go to Game Controller Setup in the settings, or you can just uh, search Game Control, and uh, here it's already configured, and uh, you can see it's the Xbox One for Windows, status OK. And uh, now here on the joystick, uh, we see that the joystick one has none, and here it is, Controller Xbox One for Windows, select that one close and we should now be able to control uh, the game with the joystick and now we can see here on joysticks that there are some activity when i move the joystick probably this game is using uh, control port number two so i'm gonna change and uh, yeah select none on joystick one and the controller on joystick two and uh, now we can see that the indication is on the other one all right, so now we are playing. <laughs> nice. Oops. <laughs> Great. I'm uh, not really good at these old games anymore. Let's try one more time. There's a lot of other settings you can tweak also if you want a more uh, old-fashioned display like what you was used to on uh, your old TVs. You can always go to CRT settings and uh, yeah, tweak something here. 
you can select CRT emulation, for example. I know the emulator uh, looks more like a CRT old TV. Yeah, you can see this uh, raster lines. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm not a uh, particular fan of uh, that. Uh, I think it's better to have uh, as crisp an image as possible. All right, so now we can actually go back to um, the cartridge we had, which uh, was uh, Ghostbusters. All right, so now we can use the joystick in um, this game as well. So I'm gonna buy a little bit of it. Equipment here, uh, the cheapest so far. <laughs> Exit. All right, so let's move along here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, that was just a little bit of uh, what you can do with the voice emulator. And as I mentioned, uh, there's other emulators than the Commodore 64, for example, this Week 20 emulator. So that was it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this uh, content and uh, thanks a lot for watching. Special thank you to my Patreons. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.